Hello, in this video we're going to go ahead and attach some OSIP imagery and point clouds to this 3D design file. So this workflow is intended for internal ODOT employees since we're going to be using some internal network resources to be able to attach our point cloud and, and TIFF files to this particular design file. So I just have a regular 3D um, design file here. Uh, we need the 3D because we're going to be attaching the point clouds to it. If you're just attaching imagery, of course, you don't necessarily need that 3D uh, aspect to it. So uh, one other requirement is that there is a coordinate system set to the file. So we're on Ohio South Zone, just regular grid. Um, there's no scale factor or anything like that. Um, so we're going to be attaching our, our imagery and point clouds directly to this file, uh, just to give you a little background on it. Um, so uh, a couple steps that we need to do to be able to attach that. The first thing we're going to do is attach all the tiles that we have um, available for uh, our OSIP data so we know what, what tiles to actually bring in. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to the regular uh, uh, attach reference manage, uh, the reference manager and attach a reference. Um, so these are actually stored inside the standards and project wise um, as well. Uh, they're also outside of project wise inside the, the old iDrive folder as well. Um, so I'm going to go, uh, sorry about that, into our connect configuration workspaces. Uh, OHDOT Connect Edition version 1. And inside the local folder, there's an OSIP data folder. So if we kind of look at that tree again, uh, it's a little buried. Um, but under the O3 standards, connect or CAD standards, connect config workspaces, OHDOT Connect Edition version 1, local, and then we have our OSIP data inside of there. So we have two design files located in here, one with the north zone tiles and one with the south zone tiles. So we'll go ahead and select our south zone, since that's where this particular project is, and go ahead and attach it. Um, one thing I want to note uh, is we need to make sure, since we have that coordinate system assigned to our DGN file, that we use the proper coordinate system uh, when we're adding that file in. So if they happen to match, if they're the exact same uh, coordinate system between the two files, you can go ahead and use the coincident world, and it's just going to align that with the master file. If they don't, do not match, uh, we need to make sure we use our geographic reprojected option. Um, so if they do match and you use the geographic reprojected, it's not going to do any additional transformation. So that's a pretty safe bet to use um, when we're working with uh, files that have coordinate systems assigned to it. So this is going to go ahead and, and uh, download that to my local working directory and attach that as a reference to my file here. Um, so uh, now that I have uh, all of my tiles in, I'm not going to go ahead and do every single one of these tiles. I'm just going to use one as an example. But uh, we can see that they are labeled South Zone with a, a number beside them. So one way we can uh, utilize this is to look at our information, element information of our file here. And we can see uh, the name of that particular tile. So it's just a text string. Uh, one thing we can do is uh, we could copy that. Um, so we can copy that using our search uh, and when we're going to bring that uh, that tile in. So they do match uh, between imagery and uh, the point cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the point cloud in first. So I mean, I happen to be in the drawing workflow, but you can get to it in many other workflows. In the Home tab, Primary Tools section, I'm going to go ahead and open the point cloud manager. Uh, and inside the point cloud manager, we're going to go ahead and use the attach uh, point cloud tool. Um, so currently, we do not have the point clouds located inside of ProjectWise. Uh, we're going to use our network iDrive resources to be able to get to that. Um, so I had opened this before, um, so I'm going to go ahead and rebrowse to it. Uh, so it's on the iDrive, um, and this is the uh, central office iDrive. It's the one that I'm using. Um, O.CAD, OSIP, uh, LiDAR. And then all of our tiles are going to be there in their pod format. So it already has the ground stripped out uh, and uh, normalized with the, the naming convention of the tiles uh, that are available. Um, so one thing we can do is use a search to be able to get that uh, particular file. Um, so this is a uh, the 2390575. So I, I got that by just doing a control C when I was looking in the elements. Um, I selected the name and just pasted it into the file name and hit enter. And it went out, found that pod, and attached it to my file here. So I can go ahead and turn it on, uh, turn it off in this view. Um, and, and do some other manipulation with the settings. Um, and once I select a whole bunch of them, I can export them out. 
uh, and create a single pod of all of these, and I can make a terrain model. And we have a couple videos on our wiki page to show how to do that and incorporate it with other um, surveyed data types. Um, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and now bring in the uh, OSIP imagery as well and grab that TIFF file. So I'm going to go under the raster manager, same location as the point cloud manager, and I'm going to go ahead and attach a raster. Um, so I just did file attach, and I'm also going to cancel out of this and browse to that same location on my iDrive. So iDrive o.cad, OSIP, uh, and then we have imagery. Um, and inside the imagery, we have all of our tile names as well. I can do a paste, uh, since I already have it still copied on my clipboard, and just hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and not find that particular tile. Um, so let me go ahead and just do a regular search inside of here uh, and find it. Um, so it is here, uh, and I can go ahead and hit open. I think I did it before all of the uh, network resources uh, were available. Um, but that, that should be another way you can do it. So we can put it on the level that we want. I'm just going to use default for now, just as a, an example. And once we attach that, it's going to go ahead and read that coordinate system and attach that file uh, directly to our design file. So a pretty quick, easy way to be able to add some OSIP data, whether it's imagery or point clouds to our 3D design file uh, in kind of more of a manual method. Um, so really the, the overall workflow is to add our um, tiles in a design file as a reference, uh, figure out the names of those tiles that we need and go out and find those from our network resources and attach those to the file. Um, so they are, we are working on them locally and uh, they're available uh, to us inside our design file. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, please use our service request form uh, on our website uh, and yeah, ask any questions. Thanks.